Well, this puppy is not gonna be fixed for the tournament, but tomorrow we're gonna knock it out. I gotta replace the steering cables and the old Ultrex, and I gotta be on the water in about an hour and a half. I'm just not gonna have time to do all that. I pretty much have to hook this up from the bottom of the foot pedal, run it all the way up to the sleeve, and go into the head of the trolling motor right here. And it's just, I don't know if this is a possible task right now. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. So we're gonna hold off on that. The first official tournament of the year is about to start right now. This is a little night tournament. You guys know we fished a lot of them last year. The last one that we fished, we happened to get second place and we lost by less than an ounce to my man Clint. Today we're gonna go out here and really try to put a hurting on the fish. I haven't been out on this river in about six months, except for the other day we did a little photo shoot we weren't really fishing. So I got all my baits ready, got my poles rigged up. And we're gonna go out there and give it our all. This is actually a team tournament, I'm, but I am fishing solo today. So we're gonna see what we can do, guys. The only problem that I got is my trolling motor's broken. I don't know if you guys saw in the last episode, I'm having to lean forward and direct the trolling motor with my hand. That's, that's the only thing that I'm worried about today, but I, I'm not gonna let that hold us back, guys. We're gonna go out here and try to catch them. I just hope the fish are biting. Hope we end up landing some big ones. And all in all, just have a good time today. That, that's the main goal. You know, I didn't have anything else going on tonight. And I was like, I want to come out to the first river night tournament and uh, try to catch some big fish, man. So we're going to have some fun. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're going to go ahead and get after this. Let's get it, baby. Got the net ready. I think we might need that. Hoping we're gonna need that. So this is what I'm dealing with. I, my foot pedal. It don't work. So I gotta lean up like this direct where I want to go I think the savior in today's situation is gonna be my power poles that's what I'm hoping we're gonna put our heads down guys do do what we like see if we can get a few fish in the boat if it's not happening we're gonna move spots and you know I, I'm a running gun type person I like hitting so so many spots just move 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 today I'm definitely gonna do that, but it's gonna be on a slower slower pace than, than what I usually do. Just knowing that my trolling motor's like this. So yeah, let's get after it. I'm gonna start off with the mock patroller. We're gonna see what we can do. These All these baits are available in Dick Sporting Goods, guys. I'm gonna see if we can get on a little topwater bite right here at the beginning. Wouldn't that be crazy? I've actually never thrown a bait like this out here, like a plopper style bait. Style bait. I've thrown buzz baits and I've torn them up on buzz baits, so it's like, why why would they not eat this plopper? So we're gonna see what we can do. Hoping we'll get us a good one. I feel like this is definitely a bait that can get us a good bite. I'll show you guys everything else I'm gonna be throwing today here in a little bit. But we're gonna start off with this top water and see if we can get one to show it so. I'll throw a few casts with it. I ain't gonna do too much. I think beans, man. By the way, if you guys want to check out the Kicking Their Bass combos, they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com. I'll have the link in the description box down below. We're going to pick up a worm real quick, see if we can uh, get a bite or two. That'll at least let us know if there's fish in the area. These spots right here, you got to time right. With me not being out here in a long time, I don't know how this spot's been fishing. I don't know how the fish have been pulling through as far as timing goes. And uh, today's gonna be a little learning learning curve for us out here since I just haven't been out here in so long. So let's see what we can do. Throw around this worm a bit. This is actually a big old green pumpkin worm, chartreuse tail. That's what I was throwing in that last tournament. I fished out here. I've had a lot of good luck on that. And you, it, this water's like tannic. Ooh. Can't tell if I just. Oh yeah, that was a hit right there. Eat it, man. Come on, man. 
so odd. That is so odd. Try out all spinner bait. Give it a good mixture here. Just one of them things like you might not want exactly what I'm putting down, you know, I'll put a different bait and start buying. I just don't think they pulled up yet. I think uh, we're early to the show on this one. I don't think these fish have got, got to the spot how they should. But the question is, do we do we wait? Do we wait it out and, and try to see if these fish are going to turn on? Or, or do we go hit some melts in hopes that we can catch a few fish and potent, possibly come back here? Not many boats went down over two. I think there was only four boats that went. That's a big one. Oh yeah, we need that one. We need that one. He ain't that big. He's a keeper. He felt big when I hooked him. He started running, man. I was like, dude, I got like a three pounder, which is a good fish out here, but. I'll take a one and a half chunk all day long. Let's get it, boys. Hey, we on board. Spinner bait. That's all I wanted right there. Just show me some life type thing, you know? God, let's go, baby. Fishing, I'd say about 10 minutes. Maybe, maybe not 10 minutes, maybe a little less than that. We got a fish in the boat. That's, that's exactly what you want. Turn my live well on. Okay. Okay. I will say my, my drag wasn't set on that combo. That was such a weird spinner bait bite too. That wasn't, it, it was like when the bait landed, he ate it. Like I didn't even have to reel it. It was like the fall of the flutter. Like this bait falls, the spoons flutter. Or the, not spoons, the blades flutter. And uh, it's like he almost ate it when I threw it right up there. He was up way close to the bank in that shade. Right, literally same cast. Guess what? He's a fish. I don't think he's on keep. If he does, I really don't want to weigh him in. <laughs> he will definitely be the one to go. I could tell by the way he was nibbling. Sometimes he can go. Woo! Don't get me hooked right here. These are the I'm telling you, these are the ones that I get you too. Tiny, tiny turds. I don't know what's wrong with his bottom fin right there either. We're gonna measure him. He, he might be 11 and a half. I really don't want to weigh this fish in, but if he does measure, I'm putting him in the box. It's just how we rock, especially in these tournaments. You never know. Yeah, he, he's 11. Well, you tried, buddy. You're fat, but you're not big enough. All right. Not discouraged by that. If anything, that gives me more confidence. Oh, he's still behind it. He's still behind it. Oh. <laughs> I think that first bite was a gar, guys. I really think that was a gar. Just the way he ate that thing just didn't seem like a bass. I don't know. He should have been. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one too, man. He's right on that current break. The moment I landed. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Mm-hmm. Look at that. 
be fat. That's no Gucci River bass. Big old belly like that. He ain't a giant. <laughs> he is a meatball, man. Golly, that's a meatball. Okay, I'll take him for the second fish. I don't know if I want to weigh him in, but hey, we're getting fish in the boat. What's crazy is that cast right there. I had not caught a, a fish in that spot all the last year when I was coming out here all the time. I threw right in there instantly. I mean, it's the spot that makes sense. It's the spot that you'd think a fish would sit. I just never caught him there for some reason. I was like, man, that looks good. Let me cast there. I cast out like that before I could even click my reel. I felt him just eat it. Like, okay. I got one. Spit it out. I've never in my life seen that out here. Why are they grabbing it and not eating? Can I actually see his teeth marks right on it? Literally his teeth marks right there. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. He's running at me. Oh my god, it's a good one. It's a redfish, bro. It's a freaking redfish. Oh my god, it's called a redfish, dude. What? Bro, you crushed that thing. I gotta take a picture of this, dude. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Bleeding a little bit. Get him back in the water. That is insane, though. Holy cow, that's insane. Wow. I have yet to ever catch a redfish. I thought I had a big bass, man. I really thought I had a big bass. Wow. That is so cool to see though. I, I, I can I can officially say I caught a redfish in a dang bass tournament. I should have put him in the box, weighed him in. <laughs> Bro, that was wild, man. I've never guys I <laughs> I've had 50, 60 fish days on this spot right here. I have never, not once, had an opportunity to catch a redfish. And of course, during a tournament, I could freaking demolish it, dude. I, I seriously thought that was it. I've been so patient, guys. I've been like biting, biting my lips, man. This whole time I'm like, man, am I doing the wrong thing? And then I felt that bite and I was like, oh, that's a good one. I thought that was a three to four pound bass right there. I was like, that is exactly what we need. but. It was a dang redfish. That was the most unexpected thing I have ever seen. Maybe that's good luck, guys. Maybe maybe that's just <laughs> some good luck. Maybe that's a good luck charm saying, no, it's all right. Just take a deep breath. Catch you some good fish. It's all right. <laughs> There we go, baby. Okay. Last second, like, thought process is like, hey, we gonna throw a jerk bait here for a second. We got our third fish. That is awesome. Okay, 12. He is 12. He ain't big, but he's still he's something. Hoping we'll call him out, but. Jerkbait fish today. First cast on that dang controller. Sucks. 
I don't think he was even 12. I want to say he's like 11. <laughs> he is a very small one. But that's crazy. I threw all, all these different baits up there. Didn't have a bite. I throw this patroller up there. Literally first cast and I get slammed. Not about a big one, but I mean, hey. Somebody should tell me something about this top water. These fish are so small, man. <laughs> we getting a step closer to a limit. He's an easy 12 inch bass. That is not what we want to catch, but I, I will say it's okay because we got four fish. And Given our situation with the trolling motor, I feel like I'm not doing too bad with it. I'm just having to fish so dang slow. Given with that situation, I'm kind of happy. By the way, I did talk to uh, two boats coming over here. I talked to Clint. Um, he said he had two fish. I don't know how big they are. They're probably similar size. And I talked to one boat after him, and they said they had two fish. So, I mean, heck, we're, we're at least putting a few fish in the boat can't complain so we're just gonna keep fishing guys man there gotta be a fish on that dude i'm not buying that i'm really not buying that Mm -mm -mm. It's actually a submerged tree right there. You can barely see it. Only thing, the reason you can notice is this. <gasps> he ate it right there. It was a bass. Right there on that isolated tree, baby. Mm. God, that was so cool. I literally watched him dive over it like a dang top water. He ain't big, guys, but guess what? That's fish number five. <laughs> Oh man. All we gotta do is pray that nobody else caught him. <laughs> I didn't catch him. I'm telling you, I didn't catch him today. But I got me a few small ones. <laughs> That's what I was hoping would happen on this spot, guys. I never fish this spot. Like this this spot's like twice a year, once a year type spot, you know what I mean? But hey, it paid off as crazy because this is a great talking point, man, to really pay attention to your surroundings. You know, what I noticed is when I came up on this bank right here, it went from two foot out there in the middle to five foot, okay? You got a steeper bank. Not only do you got a steeper bank, you still got some good cover in the water. You know, a lot of this cover with the tide being so low, is still up on the bank. But I'll tell you this bank, you know, it still has a good couple solid pieces of cover. I'm not talking about just one, not one, not one little isolated piece. It's got a good couple solid pieces. You know, there's places for bass to go there. Not only that, but I kept going up there on that bank. You know, I was honestly way too close to the bank. I, I just couldn't control the trolling motor. And what I noticed when I was going up there and I said it right before I caught the fish, I said, look at that isolated stump right there that's below the surface. As I said that, I was honestly going to go past it. I wasn't even going to cast at it because I was like, I'm like three foot from it. Sure enough, I cast at it. Look what happened. We ended up catching our fifth, fifth fish. Pay attention to them small things when you're fishing, guys. And that just saved that just saved us right there from weighing in four fish to weighing in a limit. And don't get me wrong. We don't have nothing special. We've had a tough little day today. But 
we got part one of the tournament done. Now we just got to see if we can catch a few more and try to get size. That's our biggest thing right now. We need some size in the boat. It don't even have to be a big one. I don't know what people are catching today. For all we know, that's the only limit caught. I don't know. Which I don't think that's the case. I think I think some people caught them today. Especially doing that. Only a few boats went down river. All the other ones went up river. Either it's really good up there or it's really bad. So maybe maybe uh, we lucked out. I don't know. I know uh, Clint and that other guy I talked to, you know, they had a few fish. So it's like people are catching some fish. I just don't know if there's any size to it. So, and I'm going to be honest with you. This tree right here could have another bass. I cannot believe that sucker ate it like that, too. That was so cool. Such a cool little talking point, too, man. All right, that couldn't have gone better. I literally watched him go over that tree. I got one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, that was a bite, too. I'm going to break it. Oh, so tight. This line is so strong. It's a brave fix. God. Mm -mm. Don't want to be doing this. Golly. That rang my ear. It popped so hard. That popped at the end of my rod. That is some strong line, dude. Gosh. Well, I'll tell you, if I lost a fish today or broke one off, there ain't no reason for that. Because that line is strong as can be. We are still in six foot of water on this bank. This is actually a freaking fantastic looking bank. I I love it. Good thing Noah did come prepared on the rods. I got a backup Texas rig. And it has a crawl on it. Maybe we give up another presentation. It's so funny that I struggle so hard with just fishing this little thing. You know, barely, barely any current. This is just this dang trolling man. It's a lot easier fishing like a bottom bait though. Oh. Dude, dude, dude. He's running at me. <laughs> Biggest one today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Look at that, hooked him outside the mouth. I don't even know how I hung on to that fish. <sighs> not a big one by any means. Not like a big one, but dude, big. Compared to what we got in the box, I ain't a bad fish. Now the tricky part here, it's cold. I think I spotted the smallest. Yeah. Well, that's our smallest, dude. Good thing we got one of the babies out of the boat. They're all babies, but. <laughs> All right, he's fat though, man. He's got he's got a little belly on him, dude. Guys, what in the world, bro? All right, we can actually make something happen here. Let's 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 focus up. This is like comeback zone right here. Oh no! Oh, I, I got that up in my trolling motor. I was like, don't even start. This trolling motor's had enough. I cannot believe off of just paying attention that we just caught two fish right there. We, we caught our fifth fish and got a coal out of literally just paying attention to our surroundings. Going with gut instincts. Even this crawl choice, this could have been, this could have been a game changer. I, like me breaking that lure off, I wonder if that's the same one that bit me. Or maybe there's just a couple there. I mean, this is, like I said, it's a great bank. You got a great isolated tree. And you know, those fish are sitting on the back of that as this current's passing. And right when you lift it over that tree, that's usually when they hit it. You know, they're sitting there on that current break. Let's see if we can get another one, man. Guys, I got stuck. I'm not 100% sure if it was a bite, but it might have been one. Got to get a little closer. Oh, this is such a mess. <laughs> Give me my rod back. Well, we've been wash out this stump, but I think we got what we needed to out of that one. We're just gonna keep moving. I don't want the stump to hold me back. I don't know if there's another fish on it. Okay, there we go. Let's keep moving. Oh, there's no way I wasn't recording. <laughs> no way I wasn't. Was it really mine? Well, guys, I got another coal. 
Oh my gosh, you can't tell me I wasn't recording on that whole thing. There, there's a, another isolated tree right there. I threw probably four casts, kept getting slammed. And um, I was like, man, I'm gonna back off of this for a second. Kept getting hit, kept getting hit. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know I can catch one here. And uh, sure enough, finally caught one. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. That felt like a decent bite. Ended up calling out another one of our small ones. He was, he wasn't big, but he was bigger than that other one. You know what? This is old reliable, man. Summer crawl, rage crawl. Caught a lot of fish on it in the past. They're destroying the crawl, so I want to put a crawl on. Keep it rolling. If they're not gonna eat this, crawl, bro, if this horse fly, I swear, dude, it ain't your time. You think you're all cool, dude, until you're dead on the carpet. We're gonna hone in here, guys. I think we can catch at least one to two more fish off this spot. I just, I'm upset I didn't get that on camera, dude. It was such a good little clip. Such a good little clip. All right, y'all. I think we're gonna call it 15 minutes short. It's 8.33 right now. The ramp's right down there. I'm just by myself, and I don't wanna be in everybody else's way when I'm trying to put my, put my boat up. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt at this ramp too, especially with the current. So, I will catch you guys at the weigh-in. What a day. We're uh, back in the car right now. We're waiting to weigh in. Everybody's pulling out. I just talked to a kind gentleman a second ago. He said he, he's got four fish um, and he couldn't catch any down where I was. He had to go up. So I'm wondering if people ended up catching them really good up river. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we got a limit. We just don't, we don't have any size to them. You know, I'm proud that we got a limit. I'm happy. I just wish we would have landed a few big ones today. I think that could have been the game changer of, you know, picking up this tournament was landing two to three really good fish. And we just never had the opportunities. You know, we fished hard. Um, we did what we could with the trolling motor. That was a little aggravating at times, but um, I'm still impressed with, you know, our performance today and just being able to catch fish um, in that current with the trolling motor. And just, I was getting frustrated with horse flies and, you know, I'm, I'm still happy on how everything went, but let's see, uh, I'll catch you guys away in. I literally just walked up there to weigh everything in and I didn't even turn the GoPro back on. But we had seven pound, 7.28. So I don't know what that's gonna do, but just could not find the big ones today. We'll get them next time, but I'll let you guys know what ends up winning. I'm gonna stick around for a minute. I'm just sitting down editing this video and I realized I forgot to film an outro. We ended up getting the top five, I think 11 pounds won. Second place was nine pounds. Then it went down to eight and then to seven pounds. And you know, we only had 7.28. It was a tough little tournament, but you know, we stuck it out. Um, we caught a lot of fish, ended up calling a few times, learned a lot in that tournament. And also, um, you know, it just goes to tell me I need to be more prepared next time. You know, the trolling motor wasn't working. I should have got that fixed before the tournament. I think that could have helped us out just as far as hitting a lot of those main river spots, throwing a lot of moving bait and being able to position the boat in the right spots. Like that was my hardest time yesterday was just trying to position the boat and get it in the correct spot while throwing the bait and still keeping it in a productive area and working it the right way. It was easy to throw the soft plastics, but when it came down to like the moving baits, it was so hard to do. Like it was just so hard to fish those and work the trolling motor at the same time. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with a friend and also hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the tournament video and you wanna see more. We're gonna start fishing some of these here and there um, over the next few weeks. So if you guys enjoy this stuff, let me know. Um, we're definitely gonna be getting a dub here soon. Uh, this was the first one of the year, I cannot complain. And we caught a redfish, that was just, insane that was probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to me during a tournament but i love you guys so much and i'll catch you on the next video